not just about going to work having fun with your workmates you actually do get a lot of work done it just helps that you have all these things that when you get tired you at least you can de-stress a bit and then you get back to work but sometimes the days are long sometimes you have to spend extra hours in the workplace so it's been a few years since my first programming job give you maybe 10 things that I wish I knew when I was starting out when you're getting started with the job search process do have a side project it just helps show that you put in those extra hours have a github as well it just shows your extra interest it's not for a requisite but as much as you may have passed your test you may have passed all the stages of interviews when it gets to on site they do like to talk about what you've been working on also have a start project that you can highlight and then another thing now this goes to when you're starting to apply for places now you're a fresh grad in some cases you do have maybe a few months of uh, work experience internships here and there but in some cases you don't have any experience uh, that's also something I'd advise throughout your study try to see if you can get some internships in your holidays even though it's a month uh, there or a month here or two months there all that adds up and makes you more valuable when you actually get into the job market to work full-time you'll find yourself that you're applying to a lot of jobs a lot initially you have that pride you're like I've done this degree everyone is going to come want a little bit of this because I'm the star programmer star coder but sometimes it's not the case sometimes you get a lot of rejections get ready for rejections but just keep moving forward keep going to the next one and another tip make sure your LinkedIn profile is proper set have a clear like if someone goes to your page let them get to know a bit of what you do uh what kind of projects you've been involved in they let that be as visible as possible something that really worked for me when i found myself applying endlessly to indeed or a lot of those job career sites but i wasn't any getting anything back a trick i did because at that time i wasn't in cape town but i wanted to work in cape town i googled software development companies in cape town so whatever company that came up in the google search i'll go to the website the company website directly go to contact us section and type my introductory letter that i'm looking for an internship position introduce myself quickly and nothing too long hi i'm a recent computer engineering graduate and i'm inquiring if the company has any availability for either interns or junior developers or a graduate program a lot of companies have graduate programs so you can just put that just nice short and sweet inquire in a way what that does is because an individual most times some of those websites that you apply to uh maybe sometimes they don't go directly to an individual's email where an individual opens it and actually reads it but most times when you go to a company's website in the contact us you're sure that an individual will read the message so at least you have a higher probability of like getting a proper answer that um, uh, maybe a no or if you do get lucky like in my case that actually worked for me they were looking for candidates for the graduate program and then we started the interview process like that so it's just one of those things that that worked for me that I think I'll share with you then another thing when you're getting started is this, this misconception that when you're looking for a job you have to have this Four year degree, you have to have this three year degree, you have to have all computer science, computer engineering, or IT, or something, but it's not really specific. These days, people uh, do a course or year for a year or go for a diploma program, and it's all about just to show that you did some kind of formal learning and then it's just all about what you can do what you you can show that you've learned on your own as well so that does not exclude anyone especially in positions like web developer uh, software developer jobs that are not specific that they want a computer science background so with those jobs as long as you have an IT background and you, you understand the concepts you've done some projects like from, from scratch from beginning and all the way to the end that's why it's important to have some projects that you've worked on that you can show and you understand the concept so yes 
it does not exclude anyone people go to boot camps people go to people are self-taught just all about what you can do try to get into the employment world as quickly as possible hence if you start your four-year degree or three-year degree try to do it as quickly as possible don't slack and don't waste time don't take it for granted try to get that out of the way because the sooner you can build your years of experience the better and i worked with one guy who yes he did his degree but what he did is he made sure that every holiday from like the second year he had because uh, at that time every holiday you get a month a month and then the last one you get i think that's a long holiday two to three months so every holiday he had a job he had an internship position somewhere you can even work for free at that point you're just building your experience so by the time he got to formally look for employment he had all those additional months together of experience and that helped him not start at a very junior level uh, when he started formal employment so he had all that experience that's the thing you can't substitute uh, reading or theoretical work or your personal pro project for formal work experience so try to get into the formal working experience as quickly as possible that is so so important get in there get your hands dirty grow and when i was starting out with programming of course you're in college for your first two years it's mainly c sharp it's just that's all mainly what you do and then i think in the third year fourth year we did a lot of c sharp and then you experiment i think with php and then some people go java route there's a lot of experimentation in those final two years but in a way that gave a perception like when you're in college you should know every bit that you should know c plus plus that you should know c sharp that you should know java yet i should have strictly specialized that is a key i would give you yes experimentation isn't bad here and there but if you're getting ready for the job market especially in your final year focus on one language uh use a concept you, know, you learn a lot of object orientation concepts from maybe your first year along the way but focus on just one language because in my case i was a little confused torn between uh, focusing on C-sharp or focusing on Java mainly because when I was starting out a lot of jobs either some required C-sharp or some required Java so I was like let me try to do both and try to make myself more marketable and then what I did I included all those languages that I knew C++, C-sharp, blah 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 on my CV as languages I know but it's a lot more important for you to focus on one make sure you got those concepts locked because some jobs when you're interviewing they pretty much let you use whatever language so i guess a tip off the bat i would say choose between three languages either c sharp or java or python python is a good one if you want to gear into the machine learning side of things or data science route and then if you want to web develop with either c sharp or java it's a last step is since a lot of companies use agile try to read up on that read up on what agile is the difference between agile and waterfall that's all part of the process because in software development you don't just code that's also another thing you do a lot of communication with your teams there's a lot of team dependencies so you have to also read up on that in your free time and you also have to show in your interviews of instances of how you work with your teams or how you work with other people to solve this yeah that's also an important skill and yes i've also noticed one thing it all helped it's also helped me that when i got into the company it was a very diverse like different people different people from different races different genders different religions different there were so many different people and for diversity in organization that's also something to look out for it'll also help the best thing is if you get into a graduate program where you're a couple of people all going through the same thing and yeah that's also fun but if you get in just yourself still try to make friends try to communicate with people try to talk to people and yeah get into the system and participate in all co in company activities just get familiar with everyone so hopefully i have covered at least the most important points and if you found this useful don't forget to subscribe for more videos leave a comment 
of any other tips that you want to share or things that you want to find out about in the comment section down below i'll get to it <laughs>